John Gill, 1 John chapter 2, verse 10, Scripture, quote, He that loveth his brother, unquote, as such and because he is his brother in Christ, and that cordially and sincerely without hypocrisy and dissimulation, and by love serves him both in things temporal and spiritual, and so observes the new and yet old commandment. Scripture, quote, abideth in the light, unquote. It is a plain case that such a man is in the light of grace and continues in it. For though it is not his love to the brethren which is the cause of his light, of his being and continuing in it, for that is owing to the spirit of light and knowledge, but on the contrary, light is the cause of his love. Yet it is an evidence of it, that by which it is known as the cause is known by the effect. See John chapter 3 verse 14. Scripture, quote, And there is none occasion of stumbling in him, unquote, or there is no scandal or offense in him. He gives no offense to his brother, or at least as much as in him lies. He takes care that he gives none. He avoids as much as he can, putting a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. By use of things indifferent or by any other action, nor will he easily take offense at what is said or done unto him, for charity or love is not easily provoked. It suffers long and bears all things. See 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Nor does he so much and so frequently transgress the laws of God, and particularly those which regard his neighbor or his brother or so easily fall into the snares of Satan. Because he is in the light and walks in the light and sees his way and what lies in his way and so shuns and avoids occasion of stumbling and falling. There is not in him that wrath and malice and envy, which lead on to the commission of other sins. For love works no ill, but fulfills the law, and will not suffer him to commit adultery, to kill, to steal, or bear false witness against his neighbor, friend, and brother. See Romans 13, verse 9. And such a one enjoys great peace, tranquility, and happiness. He has much comfort in himself and pleasure in the saints, and delight in their company. He walks inoffensively and in a harmless manner, without hurting himself or any other. Psalms 119, verse 165.